radio personality, a remarkable person, all right? She says she was discriminated against by, well, a worker who wrote a racial slur on the receipt. She found it, she saw it, here it is. I just had a very racist situation just happen to me right here in Buckhead. And I need to tell you guys about it. Last night, my friend Kendra and I, we were right right next door to this place, had an amazing time. But she pointed out this place called Woody's, Woody's Cheesesteaks, right? She said, they have an amazing veggie cheesesteak. I said, well, I'm going to be in the area. I'm going to go and get one. So I'm here to get one today. I'm all excited. I was like, you know, what do you have in your cheesesteaks? And he was just like, oh, it's no use, it's all vegetables. And I said, all right, cool. I placed my order. What is your name? I said, Darlene. This joker put (laughs) D-A- And I'm gonna show you. He put (laughs) for my name. And I saw it because, you know, I paid like through my phone on the, so it came up on on the um, thing. I'm like, why would you call me? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I know your name is Darlene. I said, so why didn't you put Darlene? Let's put up a picture full mass. You see, Darlene is a nationally syndicated radio host and gospel artist, Darlene Jackson McCoy. Remarkable individual, one of the most authentic people you will ever meet. She says after ordering a vegetable cheesesteak at Woody's Cheesesteaks in the Buckhead neighborhood of North Atlanta, she noticed the cashier wrote a racial slur. It is historically a racial slur next to the section that should have said her name. McCoy proceeded to explain how unapologetic the cashier was. Here it is. Why did you put And he was like, don't worry about it. It's just, that's just for me. I'm like, what is, I don't wanna be called so cancel my order and give me my money back. He says, I'm not doing that. I don't give money back. I don't give refunds. Look at that. When he called my name, he said, Darlene. I came up, I said, please give me my receipt. And he said, it's nothing. I mean, I just put for my, just for me. I'm like, no, you put and I'm a black woman, that is extremely insensitive. And I asked you to change it. And you told me you wouldn't change it. I asked you to give me my money back because I don't even want the food. You said you don't give refunds. And he said, don't worry about all of that. I said, you know, had you been a little bit apologetic, had you shown a little bit of, of, of humanity in this, I wouldn't do what I'm about to do. But you got the right one, baby. You got the right one. I'm very sick of racism in this society. I'm sick of it and I'm not going to allow this to go. Good for you, dear sister. Put up the receipt, I wanna see it again. All right, that's the receipt, keep that receipt up there. Now, let me say this, something I tell my college students often is to never compromise. Because the way you allow someone to treat you will teach them how to treat the next person who looks like you. But you can give them a proper education if you do not compromise, which will also provide a necessary lesson of how to teach everyone, how to teach them to treat everyone who comes after you. McCoy then proceeded to urge the public to take action. They have three locations in Atlanta, 
by the receipt this happened under or at the Buckhead location. Um, I think there was a response that said it was a typo. Hmm. The restaurant, I believe, said it was a typo. That's a hell of a typo. Uh, I mean, that was a typo that existed in various word combinations mm -hmm. in order for that to be a typo. Uh, dear brother, here's the thing. She was right about if he simply would have at least been halfway apologetic, she would have dropped it. And knowing her character, I don't know her personally, but I know of her character, uh, she's telling the truth. She would have shown some grace in the moment. But according to a narrative, there was zero grace allocated and zero apology once discovered. What say you? Whoever this person was kept saying it's for me and then gave her the receipt, which included the racial slur on it. It was yeah. clearly for her, he gave it to her. So I don't know what he could possibly be talking about. It was completely intentional. And there's a lot of different ways that could be a typo, but the fact that it went that way and ended up being the way it was. There was no L in there. That was <laughs> that's a sad excuse for an individual if all of this proved to be true. I don't know her personally, but this is awful. Yeah, she's a great person.